Loud noise is one of the most common causes of hearing loss. And one sound you've probably heard in your home before is that hair dryer. But could that sound be damaging to your hearing? Or could other household appliances also be putting your hearing at risk? ABC2 News' Ashley James takes a look. The hair dryers are always running at Narcissus Salon and Spa in Catonsville. I mean, when you have that blow dryer in your ear all day long and then other people's blow dryers around you, that noise is constant. Co-owner Kristen Leister believes that sound could be to blame for her hearing loss. You start realizing the impact after the first couple of years. But in a room when we're talking and there's background noise or different tones, like if someone's talking low, it's really hard for me to hear. Not surprising to Aaron Stouder, executive director of the Hearing and Speech Agency in Baltimore, who says hair dryers do cause hearing loss. The decibels that most hair dryers run at are in the high 80s, and we know that any exposure to noise levels in in that range is going to result in hearing loss. Most of the time people notice it over time, but short term more acute events can absolutely damage the hearing. And so anytime you're exposed to noise in a dangerous range, you can exp experience immediate effects. You can see how loud the hairdryer actually is through the sound meter app. While anyone can be affected, there are some people more at risk. It's going to be individuals who are working in environments where there are hair dryers running all day long. So it's going to be stylists, receptionists who work within a salon, as well as um, the support staff that work in those facilities. An estimated 26 million Americans between 20 and 69 years old have irreversible hearing loss caused by loud sounds. Once the tiny hair cells in the ear are damaged or destroyed, they can't be replaced. Once it's gone, it's gone. And there's research coming out that's telling us that there's a strong relationship between hearing loss and cognitive decline. Stouter recommends stylists put earbuds in while blow drying clients. And for people at home, protect your hearing. Um, groups like Hassa, we sell noise um, canceling headphones and hearing protection devices both for home, commercial, and personal use. There's probably going to come a time, we all talk about this, that at some point we're probably going to need to have hearing aids or something that's going to help us to support, um, to support our hearing a little bit better. Hair dryers aren't the only household item that can contribute to hearing loss over time. Stouter says blenders are also extremely loud, and with the current smoothie and shake trend, that daily exposure could result in hearing loss down the road. For ABC2 News, I'm Ashley James.